Hey, uh, my name's Tom uh, from Hydrobotics, and I'm going to talk to you about changing an oil cartridge, which is one of the more common things and practices to use on a video array that's being used. Um, when an RO is being used, particularly this system, uh, for a lot of hours, I find that the oil cartridges do need to be changed and need to be done properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the process to take an oil cartridge off, and we're going to start with the bolt back here. So what we do is get the, uh, the wrench in here, we just nip it off. Once it's finger loose, you can pull the prop off. Sometimes it can get stuck, all you need to do is tap the bolt uh, with the wrench and it will just pop off with your hands. Once you've done that, you get your hands in here and then you twist and pull and off comes the oil cartridge. So once I've taken the oil cartridge off, I have a good look at it. Sometimes you can get some uh, water ingress in there, especially if it's an empty or half empty oil cartridge, you can actually physically see that it's half empty. Right now this is a full cartridge, you can see a small bubble in the top, that's a good way of seeing that it's a new fresh cartridge. Okay. There's also another thing that a lot of people miss, there's a hole in the oil cartridge which allows for the oil to flow onto the shaft. This needs to be placed at the bottom so it lasts longer. A lot of people don't know this. So when you place the oil cartridge back in, you'll place it, pop it back on, and once it gets to the stop point, you twist and push and make sure that hole in the shaft, in the oil cartridge, sorry, is at the bottom of the shaft. And then once you've done that, we can then place the propeller back on the shaft, push it all the way with your finger, don't hammer it on, okay? And then we tighten, nip the bolt with your hand, and once done that, you need to get a good grip of the prop, okay, and then try and not just torque it just enough with your finger and your hands on the prop to stop the prop from turning, and that's it. Uh, okay, so what can happen when an oil seal runs dry? It's a good question. When that happens, the water and the pressure from the outside, depending on what depth you're at, water will make its way through, down the shaft and into the motor um, area and it will flood the ROV. It won't happen quickly, it will happen very slowly. So you won't always know on the first, second or third dive. The only way that it's a giveaway when you've got water ingress in the ROV is looking for condensation buildup in the actual main unit itself. If that happens, it could be a sign that your oil cartridges are running dry, be it on the vertical motor or on the horizontal. And that's a good way just to kind of say, right, I need to check my oil cartridges, give it a good look, and make sure that's not the fault. If that isn't, then you'll need to look elsewhere and see if there's a problem uh, around the ROV.